prototype runs from the prepare phase through the end of the explore phase. At the beginning in the prepare phase, a scoping workshop takes place for the prototype in which all the steps going from the discover phase and the prepare phase to date are taken into account for preparing the prototype. The setup of the prototype system takes place either as a new installation or as a conversion, depending on the type of implementation that is going on. And then the solution is activated in the explore phase. The fit gap and the delta design are finalized in the prototype based on what was discovered in prepare and as well as the analysis of the resolution of the fit gap issues that take place in the explore phase. A design takes place and is validated in the prototype. And finally, there is a result workshop for the prototype to understand exactly how the output of the fit gap analysis and resolution of those fit gap items took place in the prototype. And finally, the prototype project is closed. Here is a high level overview of the steps by phase of the prototype. In the discovery phase, the customer and the SAP agree on the scope of the prototype as part of the general architecture discussion of the entire project. In prepare, project responsibilities for the prototype are finalized and the schedule is finalized. The landscape for the prototype is set up and prepared. In the explore phase, the prototyping project is implemented and finalized based on the scope that was prior agreed on. SAP offers a lot of assistance for the prototype. There are a number of aspects of this in the plan and prototype option of, or the PLPT that is supported through the SAP value assurance plan and safeguard service package. First is the SAP readiness check in which it summarizes the conversion project in a simplified fashion. The scoping workshop for prototyping follows the initial discussions in which SAP sits down with the business and goes through any necessary steps that will take place to prepare the prototype. Platform execution professional service leverage it to technically set up the prototype. Custom code impact analysis takes place to convert systems from ECC over to the new S4 HANA and analyzes any changes to the custom code that are necessary. Mandatory preparations for system conversions are performed as needed. And finally, activate solution, which is a really neat step that activates pre-configured content, best practices, and processes associated with activate innovation adoption framework. Now, this is a really nice functionality that's available in S4 HANA. Unlike in the previous systems where it was necessary in the older ECC implementations to stand up your own business processes, SAP provides the standard business processes all ready to go. So you can take a look at exactly what's going on in the system right out of the box and you don't have to set it up yourselves. Very nice option in S4 HANA that's now available. PLPT offers a couple more things to the organization. The UX Activate and Design step supports Fiori work that are, is needed to stand up the prototype. The Fit Gap and Delta Design supports the design, build, and evaluation of customer specific processes and changes to SAP standard processes. So, again, this is talking about the Fit Gap analysis that we have discussed prior that takes place in the Prepare phase and continues through the Explore phase. The result workshop from prototyping leverages the lessons learned and documentation for project implementation and production use. So this is the final step in which we take a look at everything that we've learned from the prototype in terms of how we are going to change the processes both on the business side as well as on the SAP side through configuration or custom code 
and readies the business for the next steps of the implementation. There are two workshops that are available from SAP to support this. One is the setup prototype workshop, which is a four day session. And the other is an online SAP Fiori configuration on S4HANA, which is how to configure Fiori for the prototype purposes.